There's a future for chemical recycling, but we, we shouldn't forget completely about mechanical recycling. So there will also be funding in this area. And it's just one piece of the puzzle. So collection and sorting is a very important thing, but I, uh, I, I would also want to talk about consumer behavior in general, about product design, about new use forms, uh, and, and about circular design, and about new materials. So if we talk about all these aspects, then certainly there's, uh, there's a place for chemical recycling as well. The problem that we have today uh, to uh, reach higher recycling rate is that the uh, existing mechanical uh, recycling solutions uh, cannot treat uh, uh, mixed uh, waste plastics or contaminated waste plastics, contaminated with, for instance, food residues, other materials or, or additives. And this is where chemical recycling technologies can uh, play a role since they can make use of these uh, uh, waste uh, streams, plastic streams. So that's obviously the benefit. Having said that, we are less ambitious than others uh, on the growth potential of this technology. And we certainly don't see it as a silver bullet, as some are suggesting, because we see some very real constraints and hurdles on economics, on feedstock and others. The main technologies have been around for quite some decades already and been promoted by the industry and are currently now proposed as, a, as the solution to plastic pollution and promises to be able to uh, overcome uh, the limitations of, of mechanical recycling. Uh, however, the evidence base shows that the, the significant adoption of chemical recycling is limited, lacks details and it um, largely remains unclear what role uh, chemical recycling can play in, in, the, in the future waste management. Where do we stand today? The technologies are understood at a relatively small scale, um, but uh, we have uh, probably more than 15 companies, uh, member companies of CIFIC, big chemical companies working on the topic and trying now to scale up, uh, making all the preparation to scale up the, uh, the technology. Uh, we have already tested with value chain partners um, the uh, use of these uh, recycled uh, uh, chemicals and plastics into uh, new products. Just by offering a better recycling technology, I don't think you will be, uh, let's talk about marine pollution, you, you will get any uh, of the litter or uh, of the microplastic pollution out of the oceans or uh, out of our uh, ground waters even now. But I think we should tackle the other problems and uh, see the bigger picture because we have a resource problem. We have a pollution problem. We have a climate uh, change issue, a CO2 problem. Uh, we have a, a value chain and economic problem. Uh, and, and I think that just by offering new recycling technologies or by offering technological solutions, I, I think we won't be able to solve any of these problems. For us, the perspective is uh, chemical recycling has a very real role to play in the plastic crisis, but there's a few conditions and proof points that the industry has to prove before we can take this technology um, to scale, specifically four conditions. One is, what is the CO2 profile of this technology end-to-end, -end, all things included? Second, what is the real yield that this technology can provide back to plastic? Because if the yields are very low, then it will eventually become a plastic to fuel solution. And that is not recycling. Plastic to fuel is basically another form of incineration. The third is what feedstock can it really deal with at scale, not just at, at lab. And the fourth is around economics. Can it really pay for collection? Because if the technology can only pay for the cost of recycling and sorting, uh, but it cannot pay for collection, then we're not using feedstock that would otherwise go to the environment. We're using feedstock maybe from a landfill or a dump site. So that's not really helping the, the plastic pollution problem. Let's uh, work together to create the conditions under which chemical recycling can deliver as one of the many uh, contributions that the chemical industry can bring to reach the ambitions of the Green Deal.